inside the launch chamber, uh, you can see the gates closing just behind us. And uh, what's really happening is we're no longer in Chilshul Bay behind us, and we're not quite to Salmon Bay in front of us. We're in our own little body of water we have called the Small Locks. And what they're going to do, they're going to open an upstream valve, and that's going to allow water to flow in. Uh, you can feel it's rising already. Uh, there's no pumps that let in the water. It's all gravity fed. So a long time ago, found out that gravity was well, pretty cheap and efficient. Stay there. So Wait, well, that use keep your hands inside. Uh, we're going uh, the opposite way. They do just the opposite. They would open a downstream valve and let the fresh water run out. Because we float on top, we're tied up to a wall just on our left-hand side. Uh, we might move around a little bit in here, but we're pretty secure. These locks were designed uh, by the best lock builder of the time. Uh, we got the guy who just finished building the Panama Canal. Uh, his name was Hiram and Chittenden, and that's who the locks are named after. So these we're are officially up. called the Hiram and Chittenden locks. We're raising up. Uh, a lot of people in the city, though, will just call them the Ballard locks because this is the neighborhood of Ballard on our left. Uh, other people will call them the government locks because they're ran by the government, the Army Corps of Engineers. Or some people just call them the locks. So this are only lock in the city, so a lot of people don't get confused. As we're starting to rise up, uh, our rise is all dependent on the tides. Uh, in extreme low tide, we can rise almost as much as 27 feet. And in extreme high tide, we can rise as much or as little as about 7 feet. Uh, today, oh, we'll probably rise about 12 feet up to the fresh water. Uh, on our left, uh, some of the other facilities here. Uh, we have the Carl S. English Gardens located here. Carl S. English was a groundskeeper here that used to trade seeds with all the ships coming and going through the locks and uh, built quite an extensive garden. Uh, there's, they call it a year-long blooming garden, so you can always find something in bloom even in the dead of winter. Uh, you can see quite a few people here. Uh, the locked doors work as walking paths, and uh, people like to come down and watch the boats come through, and this is going to be our third most popular tourist attraction in the city, just behind the Space Needle and the Pike Place Market. Uh, we look off to our right-hand side. There's a couple pathways that lead that's down, cool. and that's where the salmon ladder is going to be. We have uh, three different species of salmon that spawn in here on a regular basis. And uh, the locks being kind of a dam, uh, they needed a ladder, so there's 21 steps or weirs. Uh, oh, weirs really? is a little wow. cool for them. And there's an underground viewing window over there, so you can come watch the salmons come through the area. And right now, uh, the king should just be starting to run, and they're going to be the largest uh, salmon species out there. Uh, the six little archways on our right, uh, those are spillway dams. Uh, they help maintain the level of the water in front of us. Uh, this is again done by the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, in the winter we get a uh, little, little more rain, in the summertime we get a little bit more of that snow runoff. Uh, this year, as you know, kind of been a little bit of a drought, so those gates have been kept shut for a couple of months now. Uh, but those are the spillway dam gates.